Okay, so here we are in Melbourne, Victoria, out the front of Diamond Valley Pork. This is a disgusting murder factory where they gas chamber innocent pigs. We've got a bunch of activists here already. Police have already arrived. And today we have a non-vegan arriving who hasn't seen uh, pigs, bore witness to pigs, hasn't even seen gas chamber footage yet. So we're hoping maybe he can give us a little reaction and see what happens. And um, I haven't bore witness for a little while now. So for me, this is gonna be an emotional day. And let's go and uh, meet the other activists. Just walking past the slaughterhouse, it smells like rotten corpses, like dead bodies. It's like when, you, when you've had like a, you find like a dead mouse or something, that smell of like old, decomposing, rotten animal flesh. That's what this place uh, smells like. People call this a food group. It's disgusting. Okay, so we've got Denny here. Denny's already a vegan. And this is her partner, Andy. And Andy's not yet vegan. And Andy's gonna bear witness to the pigs today. And you've never bore witness either, have no. you? Okay. They got their um, that's their pool over their faces, and so they live in confinement. This one over here. Hey, sweetie. Hello. Look at them all through here, dude. They cram them into these trucks and. Like four stories high. Yeah. What's that on the floor there? That's vomit. This one has been spewing up. And there's just shit and vomit all on the floor in here. in their own feces, just a very concentrated, bacterial rich environment for them to be in. And you gotta think of a pig's sense of smell, their heightened sense of smell, covered in their own feces in this small truck, terrified. Um, it's, just a, it's just a hell hole. There's a tumour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably full of pus, you know. There's animals filled with pus and just these infections are rampant. Because they're all in their own feces all the time. Hey, Bubby. You can hear them screaming because they're just confined and anxious. They're all confined together. They hate being together with pigs they don't really know. It's okay. This is exhausted. This one just looks tired and exhausted. I can't even stand up properly. Slipping over and shit. It's terrified. It's exhausted. Look at his eyes. Baby. They just get so exhausted. Some of them just give up hope, you know? Listen up here. That 
is absolutely horrible. Oh my god. Uh, that was really bad. I don't know what to say about that. That was really disgusting. You okay? That was a really bad one. I, that was... Yeah, it was vomiting. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't see that, I guess. I just... I don't know, I just saw the pigs, you know? Yeah, you were seeing the pigs there. Yeah, that was... I don't know. Is that what you expected to see that? No. That's pretty... It's that's so, good. It's so sweet yeah. and so gentle. The smell, because we're in the farm, it's just they're all in their own feces. That's this, that's what it's covered in their own shit. They don't usually live like that, you know. Yeah, and then they go go into this cage, all right? And down the bottom is this the gas. <laughs> I'll bring some soap over. <laughs> See, these ones have already been stunned, so they come back up. It's like a big Ferris wheel. So they're getting closer now, they're trying to struggle. See? Oh my god. They're trying to escape here. And then they hit it. So they can hear them screaming the next. They're freaking out a bit. What happens is they go down and get stunned and they come out the other side and then they get stabbed to, in the jugular to drain them of their blood. These ones have been stunned. This is actually from this place here. This one here. And that's how they process all the pigs. So they come in, life of suffering, misery, come in covered in their own feces and get dropped down into gas and then stabbed. And that's how they, that's where it comes from. It's terrific. Yeah. I can't believe that something like this would be authorised like from any government and then hidden from the public. The public. Yeah. Like it's so it's a sta legal standard practice, RSPCA like sanctioned. Yeah. yeah. They show you the farm, pick nice pretty pictures from the farm. It's all load of shit. So when, that's when, when I see bacon, when I see a pork chop, that's what I see. I see them animals coming in here, like dirt all over the shit all over the face, like. And pigs are my favourite animal, like they always have been since I was a little kid, you know. It's fucking... Yeah, like, <clears throat> if, if anyone feels upset or angry or helpless, just remember that you're not helpless. Like, any, every single little action you take in your advocacy, every single person you talk to, is one step closer to these animals being liberated. Not these particular ones, but their species as a whole. So don't ever feel helpless. Like, if, if I felt helpless, I would just be inactive. But every single thing we do, like, I started with no one following my work. No one wanted to hear me. And yeah, I just kept up with that tenacity and seeing these animals and using that anger and transmuting that into action and just using the animals as fuel to keep you know, pushing on, pushing on. So don't ever feel like what you're doing doesn't impact anyone. A lot of the people you impact don't tell you that you've impacted them. Everyone collectively as a movement, all of us together, all around the world, are all walk working towards the same thing. So don't lose hope and just keep fighting. Thanks for coming out, bro. Appreciate that a lot. I know it's, you know, it takes a lot to come out to these things. A lot of vegans still haven't come out to these things, so... Good on you, mate. Yeah. So you know now know more about the pork industry than 99% of people in the world. Yeah, that's it. I think when you're brought up in, like, especially where I'm from, like, you don't actually link what you're eating to an animal. Like, it's, that part's, like, not there, like, you're eating chicken but you don't look at it and think of a chicken nah. because of the way you're like hypnotised into the otherwise. You or know, you just like, think they fall asleep and go, and when they're very old and they, they wanted to die anyway or some bullshit like that, you know? Yeah. And you'll see like laughing people... cow adverts and yeah. like cows happy and they're giving their milk away like in a cartoon version right. and then it's like, 
advertising. You've been programmed. The TV's programmed us, the advertising's programmed us, they're selling us a product. And then when, when I come and say, no, this is actually the truth, they go, no, no way, you're not right. <laughs> I haven't been lied to you and they start getting angry with me, but like, hey, I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth, hey. I'm just telling you what the TV and what the industry won't tell you. Yeah, I found it very like different to being at a animal sanctuary. I've been to many animal sanctuaries, met lots of pigs, felt absolutely fine and beautiful about being there, about the interaction with the animal. Completely different. I know they're just going to go and die. And it's like just there's a life of hell. And that's, yeah, yeah. tonight. Yeah, this is a reality. Sanctuaries are happy stories, but this yeah, is more right. of the reality. That's great. Right. Yeah. And it made me feel really comfortable as a vegan doing that. Yep. Mm. And this has been probably the most uncomfortable thing I've done, like, yeah, since I've been vegan. Really like, I'm going to the supermarket eating fake yeah. bacon and fake sausages, and I feel amazing about it, because it's, it's like, right. oh, it's just all positive stuff. That's right. But this is actually the majority, this is this is the real life, the majority right. of life. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. It's the thing I'm pretending to, you know, even now, right? I'm vegan and I still pretend, like, kind of in a way that I don't have to engage with it, right? Because I don't invest in it. I just hope people understand from activist perspective why we are angry about this, you know, and like don't get it mixed up like, you know, that we're just hating on meat eaters who don't know about this. It's more, it's more that I hate this happening to animals yeah. and there's no other real way to defend this for me. Like I'm going to defend it aggressively and offensively and I'm going to attack the industry and that's how I'm going to defend animals. That's how I defend animals because that's how I want to be defended. Mm -hmm.